Hey everybody, Gary here coming at you live from a dugout, dugout in Austin, Texas at a park. Let me show you what it looks like. Dugouts are a great place to find some peace and quiet when there's no game going on. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Find your local dugout. I'm in a big park here in Austin in the most remote corner of the park, but there's still people walking over here. Anyway. So the activity we're gonna go over right now is free writing. And this is a great way to just get the filter and the ego and all that negative thought stuff out, push it away, and just blah, just see what happens. And don't judge it. Just press record on your iPhone, on your computer, whatever you have that records, and listen to it later. That's when you can be the judge and decide what you like and what you don't like. But right now, no judge allowed, just total free form. In fact, I want you to make it as terrible as possible. Think about it that way. So this stuff we're gonna do, we want it to stink so bad, all right? So if you come at it that way, you're not gonna put any pressure on yourself. But really, you might come up with something awesome. So the first thing we're gonna try is free singing. You know, because when people say I wrote a song, it's everything, it's the vocals, it's the melody, it's the chord progression. And the first way that we can do it is just with a tonic. So what I mean by that is no chords to worry about, we just need a drone. So you might know a key that works good for your voice. I'm just gonna do the key of E, it's a great guitar key, and I play in it a lot. So all I'm gonna do is play an E chord. I could do an E major, I could do an E minor, I could just do an E power chord. And I'm gonna give myself three minutes to just free melody. Let's see what kind of melodies I come up with. I could try different syllables. Let's see what I got. To give it some tonality. That was just an E power chord. Try an E minor, see what happens. Try E major. So what I did there was just a tonic, you know, just the tonality, E major, E minor, and just went for it. So the advantages of doing just tonic is you don't have to worry about making your melody fit over any chords. However, you might find your melody goes somewhere, and while you're doing that, you could figure out a second chord to add to it. But it's just about taking off any uh, pressure or uh, a responsibility to worry about another thing. So another way that we can free write just melody is over a chord progression. So find a chord progression you like, maybe one you wrote, one that's in a song that you like. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it real simple. Let's move to the key of G. And again, this is just going to be melody, so you could use different syllables that might just come out naturally, you don't think about them, or just one syllable. Try it in a different key. So that was like a slow tempo and double time. I'm gonna try it. I think that chord progression is a little cheesy. Try one a little different. Do like an A minor.
try that. We'll do A minor, C, E minor. Boom. I've been waiting. Uh, no words. Da da dee do da dee ba da dee do da be da do Let's try some power chords. Mm -hmm. 